guys with a today's a good day for me because my air suspension kit for my 66 c10 finally came in i got the kit from easyairride.com it's a phone number owner's name steve real nice guy everything's made in the usa all the brackets are powder coated there's the upper fronts and these i believe are the lower fronts yep and these are the lower rears just a round plate and the uh, upper rears Compressor, mounting hardware, something there, and it looks like a installing area away from moisture. So I guess this is a filter, or maybe a muffler. Actually, maybe what that is a muffler. Some kind of foam bands came in the air compressor kit. And of course, the pressure switch and all the fittings. Tank fittings, bolts for the gauges. There's the gauges right here. Push lock fittings on it. I even threw in a battery terminal. A little note on it. Thought that was neat. Make the gauge fittings. Panel, I guess. Connects all that. Tank fitting, and then you get a quick disconnect coupler for your spare air hose. You get a hose. Branch airline. Seven gallon tank. Got the brackets already welded on it. Mounts directly where the spare tire goes. Get your own special nut sack. The only thing I didn't get, hopefully it comes in tomorrow, is the they surprise a survival kit which has a 40 amp fuse and relay harness. Fuse holder, relay and harness, bunch of towels, koozie, flashlight, ties, Loctite, 8 gauge wire, tubing cutter, that'll be nice. Yeah, there's the owner's name, Steve. Real nice guy. Even put a little note on the inside of the box. Thought that was pretty sweet. Yep, yeah, it's gonna be going on this truck right here. I've got a couple of videos of it already on YouTube, so for now we're just gonna throw this air ride on it and see how low it sets and then more likely wanna upgrade the disc brake so I have drop spindles and then debating whether I do a mini notch or not probably will and then have it welded in that way the frame is still structurally sound because I want to keep this truck and use it as a truck if I want to haul 20, 20 bags of concrete or 10 sheets of sheetrock or whatever I can do it in this truck and it's on air at the same time so that's why I stayed away from the static drop because I contemplated static drop but I know you you lose the usability of the truck especially with a drop coil spring so 
for now there it sits and I'll be installing it as soon as I can a little cold right now but it's what they make jackets and beanies for I'll be in the garage the next couple of days installing all this till then thanks for watching